girls. First full day of school for both of them. And so after a long day sitting in the classroom and riding the bus home, um, I thought let's surprise them and let's go do something fun. So we headed down to the creek and we're gonna go on a little exploration. It's kind of like a secret path we're gonna go explore today. What's wrong? No, um, no, I need you to pick me up. <laughs> you can walk, big girl. There we go, there we go. Well, no, we need to hold your hand. Well, I can't hold your hand and Colin's hand and the camera. Can my knees get in the water? Of course. <laughs> Did you go down, Colin? That is freezing. You're not cold, Maya? <laughs> it's really what? not bad at all once you get used to it. <laughs> I bet this isn't even chlorinated. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Jason clearly did not grow up anywhere where there are creeks. Where's the diving Southern door? California boy for sure. I remembered to wear my water shoes today. Last time we came here, I just wore normal flip flops in the creek and they kept getting stuck and stuff and I'd lose them and I'd be hunting all through the water for my flip flops. Um, they got torn and by the time we were done, they were so filthy I had to toss them. So I brought water shoes for today. Oh my goodness. I'm afraid of what's in this water. <laughs> the key with river and lake water is you can't even think about what's underneath you. You just see with ocean water. You don't think about it. We're getting deep. I'm up to like my thighs almost now. <laughs> Colin's gonna go underwater here. Would they bite? Would what bite? Fishy. Woo! I, on a I don't know if there's any fish in here. Yeah, there is little fish. Oh, you're right, there were little fish in here. So we're trying to walk to the other side of the creek right now because on the other side, there's like this little waterway. It's really tiny, almost little brook that leads to the creek and we're gonna go explore and follow it along and see what's on the other side. Maybe there's like a cool waterfall or something really neat. Are there alligators in here? Yes. No, tell me the truth. There are no alligators. Well, Maya, see something. Is that a snake? Oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> is it a snake? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah! Is it a snake? Get it, Come on, girly. It's just a branch. Three hours later. <laughs> it has not been three hours. It's been like five minutes. But we made it. Let's go explore. I see Adam. Karen, Ethan up there. Let's go get him, Maya. Whoa, 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 Karen. Stop this point. It's illegal to film. What? It's illegal to film. hide out. Our secret hide out. Oh. Apparently, I might be giving away the location to their secret hideout. No more filming past this point. Turn the camera on. Uh oh. I'm going to show it I'm going to show it you because I know you want to see it. No way. No way. It is not waterproof. <laughs> is this a hideout, Maya? Yeah. Ooh, I have come across their secret hideout. So now you all know where their secret hideout is. Oh, I'm showing it. Oh, it's all mossy over here. Is this the hideout, Maya? Yeah. Yeah. And back here is another one. Ooh. I'm over this. Yeah. Woo! What are you gonna do, Colin? <laughs> the tree branches are a little bit lower over here, so I'm having to like duck down to get through all of this. Woo, this is a pretty neat area though. I'm glad we are exploring this. Ooh, the kiddos are saying they found something really cool, like some type of treasure. Let's go see. What's this over here? Look, the tree broke. Yes, it looks like this tree right here, it like snapped up here. This almost seems a little dangerous. No, it's This is a Just be very careful going under it, guys. Could be unstable. I know. I don't even think I want to try. I don't know if I want to. I'm gonna stay right here. We've had a lot of like really heavy rainstorms and windstorms, and it looks like this tree just snapped in half and it's barely hanging there, so it's a little bit worrisome. And I'm just gonna go through it quickly because I don't want to take any chances. Yeah, it's barely hanging on there. And the whole thing just comes down. That could be really dangerous. All right, I'm gonna go under it now and go kind of quick. Oh. 
The scary thing is we got through it once, now we have to get through it going back too. Oh wow! Maya found a, a twisty pet she's calling. It looks like a twisty tree. Check out that tree. It's like a branch. And it's twisted down like a little loop. What is that? We're gonna keep it. It's old. Oh wow, this looks really old. Old, whatever it is. Maybe this place is part of a car. What's the other thing in your hand? Is that just a rock? Yeah. Let me see this. See looks like it has one. like a screw maybe on it. Yeah. Yeah. This place it's like looks like part of a pirate ship. ship. Oh. A <laughs> sign. It's a sign, like a street sign. It's pointing this way, so I think we should go this way. No. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, let's a piece it. of wood. Look at let's this. Is there That's a good stick. Look at it. It's a stick. That is a mossy tree trunk. I think it's so interesting that the trees just kind of jut out over the creek and all their roots are down below. It's kind of crazy how they just grow like this. And I just walked through a spider web and I'm really hoping I don't have an actual spider on me. And it was just an old abandoned spider web. There's like little spider webs all over these leaves and there's some type of, look, they're like little worms. Do you see them in the camera? Can That's you see gross. that? I think I they're see all that. over. Yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah. I wish I knew what they were and I had some information on that I could share with you and some wisdom to impart, but I just don't know. We've only been here a month and I don't know all the bugs and the critters and the creatures that are here in Nashville. At living in Arizona for eight years. I, I have done rattlesnakes and scorpions and javelinas and coyotes and bobcats. But all these little bugs out here, I'm just not sure what they are, but I really wanna go look that up. Um, let's see if I can figure out what that is. Well, we weren't able to figure out where this leads or where the end of it is because the sun is starting to set, so we need to turn around and trek all the way back in the direction we came. We've been walking for probably about 20 minutes, so we don't wanna get out here too far and have the sunset on us. It's a beautiful setting. Beautiful. It is. I love it. It's like the best thing. I love it. The rocks are very slippery in some areas and Colin wants to try walking on his own. He doesn't want to hold hands, but every time we try to let him go, he ends up slipping and falling. Luckily, he's a tough guy and doesn't cry. Come here, Maya. Daddy will get you. Whoa. With what we do for a living, we get a lot of free stuff and free toys and fun experiences. And I always try to teach the girls and tell them it's not always about the toys, the things you have. And these like this, I think, are the best way to show that the best fun you can have sometimes is absolutely free. Going out and wandering through the creek, looking at nature, learning something. This is what it is all about. And I think this tops any toy, any material product, any object you can get. This is what it's all about. This is why we moved to Tennessee for fun experiences like this. And I am so glad that my girls and Colin are getting able to experience this. And we made it back to the big creek that we just gotta cross over to get back to our car and head home because it's starting to get a little bit darker. I don't think wipes are gonna help you. You are a mess. You're an absolute mess. Let's go back to the river, okay? Say bye bye, everybody. <laughs> go get cleaned off. Oh, bye bye, Colin. Well, it was a fabulously fun.
fun evening creating memories with our family and our friends. But we're gonna head home now because we're gonna get the kids to bed. It is a school night and we don't want cranky kids in the morning.